Hello guys and welcome to the channel. In this video, I'll be showing you step by step how to add an admin to your Facebook page. I'll show you step by step how to achieve this. All right, guys. And why would you want to add admin to you? An admin to your Facebook page. Perhaps you want someone to manage your account for you on your behalf or your Facebook page on your behalf. That's when that comes in handy. All right, guys. Let's jump in. So the very first thing you do, guys, is make sure you have a Facebook account. This is my account, as you can see right here. And make sure you have at least one Facebook page. I have got about three pages here, as you see right here. So what you do first of all is to make sure you're on the home tab right here, the Facebook home tab. Make sure you're there. And once you're there, look to the left hand side of your screen. You can see various options there. Go to where it says see more. Click right there. It drops down to more options. And then you go right to where it says pages right here. If you have been accessing your pages, you see that your pages will have a shortcut somewhere here, right here. It says here shortcuts, right? So you can choose any of these ones here because you'll see your pages listed here. But let's say you don't have this one, the shortcut right here. You go ahead to say pages. Click on pages. It opens up to the list of your pages. And here you can choose any of your pages. Let's go with my Facebook test um, page right here. Click right here. It opens onto this page. So once you're here, guys, it gives you various options here. Go to where it says switch now switch switch now switch now it has um uh, a tab just right here on your screen so click where it says switch now click right there and it opens onto this page so once you're on this page guys you have to do one thing to get into a settings page for your for your um for your facebook page so you go right here to where it says manage go to manage click right there and it opens on to this page so once you're here Next thing you do is to look at your left side of the screen. You can see your page, home, post, audience, and many other options, guys. Scroll down, guys. Scroll down, and you can see where it says page access. It's right there. It says here, this is to invite people to help manage your, your page and control who can access it. So this is what you click on here, page access. Click right there. It leads you onto this page here, and once you're here, this is where the magic happens. Go right here to where it says here, people with ta uh, task access. Click right there and click on add new. Right? So it gives you here, um, it explains to you what it means to add someone, you know, as um, a manager or to access your page. And then you click here where it says next. Click right there. And you, you choose the email of the individual you want to participate, right? Let's say we want... John, it gives you various options. Let's say we want um this. Let's say John Kelly. I don't know who the person is, but let's just say John Kelly. Okay, to access the page. All right, and then uh, you click on what you want them to access or to manage for you. Yes. So with task access, John Kelly can manage the following: content, messages, community activity, ads, insights. So I'm going to choose what we want, I want them to manage for me. I'm going to choose on let's say content messages i want to choose this as well so this content includes this and this obviously as you can see so once you click over that you can say give access okay once you give access now what happens is facebook requests you to enter your your password so let's do that now you see so it's requesting you to enter your password once you do that and you confirm the request goes to the john kelly person who i just chose right now so i don't know who the person is so i've just this for just uh, um this video so i'm going to just cancel this out okay cancel out here so once you get that state guys enter your facebook password and the whole thing is done the request is sent to the person and they can access your facebook as a content manager okay all right guys that's the video i hope it was helpful thank you for watching and bye